Hey, what's up, Sagittarius? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. How's it going? So, guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm just, uh, I'm going to do a little Halloween tarot card spread for you guys for obvious reasons. So, we're coming up on Halloween. And it's it's absolutely so much fun to be able to dress up in costumes and, and stuff like that. So, that's why I'm wearing my little my little hat here. And I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot to do this reading for you. So, I hope you enjoy and I hope it resonates for you and you know you you find something really useful in the in the reading for you. So just keep in mind on that note that this is a general tarot card reading and it's going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let me just shuffle the Witch's Tarot. You know, I want to clear the deck too. And then we're going to focus on this 6 card tarot placement for you and just see what's going on. This has been a really interesting reading so far for other signs. So let's see what uh, Tarot and Spirit has to say for you. And thanks so much everybody for uh, subscribing and commenting. I really love it when, when somebody even just says hi, it means the world to me. So the first card placement guys is um, who do you wanna be? And this is called the costume. So let me just see a card here for you. So this is kind of interesting here. Um, the card I pulled for you is the Six of Swords. So it's it's kind of indicating that you wanna be the kind of person that is not at the center of any drama. You wanna like move away from anything um, or anybody that is causing you stress, uh, which is not always easy to do, especially if you're sharing your household with somebody that is kind of irritating or you don't get along with them or you're in some sort of job that, you know, there's always one person in the workplace that is just, kind of intolerable but this is showing that you're really kind of done with drama that has been maybe plaguing you or haunting you throughout your life so I find that really fascinating and interesting and by the way that card was the six of swords and I don't think I mentioned that um, so we're gonna look at the second card and it's gonna ask like what is driving this and what inspires you and the card placement is called Possessed. So I'll do another deck cut and look at that. Ooh. Okay, this is really super interesting here too. We've got the Justice card. And the Justice card, you just kind of want to let karma take care of everything. You don't want to be involved in decisions um, regarding other people's lives. You know, maybe you've just been taking care of other people for a long time you know you could have grow, grown up in a big family or and like babysitting all the time or had somebody that just required help all the time like taking care of um, an aging parent you know there's something you guys it feels like that you've had a really kind of almost heavy responsibility for other people and you just kind of want to let everybody give you the peace to take care of yourself right now. Um, you could have had even pets or like a home business or something like that, but there's a real desire for you guys to just be a little bit more independent and focus on your own self, your own being, your own health and wellness instead of prioritizing everybody else in your life. And I see this as a really good thing because it can get to the point where you feel like you're just sacrificing over and over and over again and have that feeling of where you know where do I fit into my own life already and do I constantly have to be doing the dishes and driving people around and don't feel guilty about feeling that way Sag because somebody needs to take care of you as well and you need the breathing space and maybe you just want to enter a phase of your life where you have no obligations to other people and that's totally cool like don't feel bad about it so we're going to look at uh, the next card placement, which is how to make life sweeter. And the card is called Candy. So let's pull a little card here for you. So this is fantastic. I pulled the Magician card here. And this is saying that you can create any kind of life that you want to. The Magician is exactly that. You know, everybody knows what a Magician is. But when you start letting go of the responsibility of other people um, and just feeling like, you're obligated to take care of the tribe, you know, you're going to start to 
discover your own magic and what you're here to do, you know, and that's okay. You do have the justice card here. So it's looking like it is absolutely time to prioritize you and launch that business. Maybe, you know, have no more kids or I don't know, like I'm actually getting for some of you, you might want to find your own place to live. If that means kicking out a roommate or getting a divorce or something like that. I mean, it depends on who you are as an individual, but it, it's, I'm seeing it's time to cut ties here in your own best interest. And because the justice card is there, everything's going to turn out for the better. And it does look like because the six of swords is here, it's going to be actually quite smooth for you. If you're feeling like a, it might be a little bit difficult to, um, release obligations it probably won't be it's just that you're so used to being the primary caregiver for so many other people it might feel really bizarre um like oh i can focus on myself you know um it's, it's gonna be a bit of a weird feeling so let's have a look at ghosts from the past and this card placement is called haunted and i think that's awesome oh hold on so we have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is a very, very active energy. And this is like probably getting up at the crack of dawn and doing everything for every everybody else. And this is like a little bit of OCD as well. The energy that I'm getting, not being able to sit still. Kind of an energy of being judged by other people. And this might have been instilled at you from a very early age from, you know, parents and going to school and stuff like that. And kind of a a hyper anxiety to to just keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing um so i mean that feels really uncomfortable for you guys but the next card placement is going to look at how to banish these ghosts and that ghost with the knight of wands i mean that's a big energy and it could be from another fire sign too where somebody is kind of making it a competition you know Oh, I did this, this, and this today. And because you're a fire sign also, you're like, oh yeah, well, I'm way more amazing than you. So it turns into a bit of a competition. And you're not here to compete with anybody else. You're here to do what works for you. So let's see the RIP card, which is how to banish this ghost of feeling like constantly pushed. And um, so you can relax a little bit. We have the Queen of Cups, so I find this is really fascinating too because it's like you might not have been able to tell people what you're really feeling. Like, can't somebody else take care of that? And your automatic response to people is probably yes. Yes, I'll do that. Yes, I'll take care of that. Yes, I'll blah, blah, organize. You know, I'll bake, cook, sweep, you know, scrub the toilet. And, oh, sure, I'll babysit. And you're just always... Um, like not saying what you really want. Like can't somebody else do it? It's okay to pass the buck, you guys. You know, it's totally perfect okay to say, I'm not into it. I'd really rather not attend. No, I'm not going to bake. I'm not into it. I mean, other people do it. And the Queen of Cups is just totally closed off and, and just not even paying attention. I think I have a bit of a siren going on in the background. Yeah, I'll go on a pause here. Hold on. it won't let up. I, I live close to a fire station and an airport. So a really brilliant, brilliantly chosen location for a tarot card reader. But anyway, have a look at the queen of cups and she's got her back to everybody. And she's just looking out on the ocean and having her cup of tea. But this is all blocking everybody out. It's like not even, it's not showing other people who you really are and being driven to be, the first, the most dependable, you know, the smartest, just everything always being on point your entire life and then probably exhausting yourself into the bargain. Um, but it, it's time to start speaking up for yourself and saying, you know what, I'm I just, I'm too tired. No, I don't wanna go out. Can somebody else please pick up the groceries? And you're not gonna be like banished you know you're really not it's people are probably going to say oh that's such a great idea you know you're always so helpful and maybe we'll get you next time around so and if people are getting in a huff because 
you don't want to take care of them as much anymore or exert yourself as much anymore that's their own problem they can take that energy that huffy like oh ugh, i can't believe it they can put that into getting the job done and giving you a break because you deserve it sag all right so i'm really trying my best to shuffle here and it's going badly so the last card i have for you guys it's called um fears and habits to let go of and it's actually called the monsters and goblins card which is hysterical okay so we have the ten of swords and this is something that you know have a look and i love this because this is i, I love that i pulled this particular ten of swords finally in one of my readings for halloween because this is just a spooky halloween vibe so i mean this is like just worried about all the daggers and the dirty looks and the snide comments but you know what people are going to be people and they're going to give dirty looks and have judgments and and say snotty things no matter what you're doing so you may as well be a little bit more comfortably paced in your life the ten of swords is is just asking you like it's saying you're afraid of that you're afraid of being impaled by the death laser gaze of somebody or the judging smirk or you know this is the thing to let go this is the thing to let go of like looking at yourself through other people's eyes is always going to be uncomfortable because you don't know where that facial expression is coming from you don't know where that snotty comment is coming from like maybe somebody had a bad day and this is the last thing that they want to deal with but you have to kind of take more of a who cares attitude because it's just your whole life has been like this taking care of other people from what I see here and sort of judging yourself based on other people's opinions and it's time to call that a wrap you know so you can find that freedom with the six of swords here whoops it's in here somewhere honestly oh I think that's it there uh, oh, there it is you know and start creating a life that you want to be more a part of and let everybody else take care of themselves here with the justice card so kind of a cool reading for you guys to like find your wings and find your freedom and just really go explore what is comfortable instead of what you feel obligated to do okay Saj I'm gonna wrap it up so I just want to say happy Halloween love and light bye guys bye <laughs>